Sullivan Farm. In this video, I am going to go out and do a bit of fencing on what's not quite new ground, but more ground that's kind of going to be looked after a little bit better now than it was over the past 20 years. Um, and we'll, we'll try and turn it into a couple of paddocks. But before we start looking at new ground, I'm going to have a look at the silage ground for this year and look after this year's stock and this year's silage before we go any further. I'm happy enough to cut this, these couple of paddocks here. Um, they got the fertilizer a bit earlier, they were grazed a bit earlier and not massive covers, but I'd be happy enough to cut that now. These couple of paddocks here are the last ones that were dropped out and they got their fertilizer a little bit later. So I'm not sure there's not that much of a heavy cover yet and there's no sign of any of it heading out either. So we might leave it a few more days, maybe another week. What we can do is just take down this wire, grazed off this little corner here of this paddock with the cattle because there's a little bit of dirt in it, there's a little bit of dung there that needs to be sprayed and it's an awkward one for the man cutting the silage to, to kind of get into and get out of it and do a clean job on. But grazing it off also means that when the tractor is coming in to go out to the field where the rapeseed was, then they're driving through a field that's grazed rather than a, a field of silage as well. So that was, that was another part of the thinking. There's a bit of fencing going on as well out here in the far off knock that I was showing you before. So did a bit of clearing yesterday, small bit, uh, just to make the the line somewhat clearer for the, the wire and the stakes. Um, we'll be starting the stake here. I'm just going to put in a prop against this stake here rather than driving a new one. I, I, I kind of shoved it down with the, the loader on the tractor, made it more solid and I just put in a prop against it there, and that'll be the starting point for this side of it. Good and solid. The first thing I start with anyway, and I can't remember if it's the right or the wrong way, based on what we were showing during the green cert, is to tie on the egg here that's going to take the wire. Um, not too bad in fairness now, I've done worse than that. And if things, you don't like the look of how tidy they are, there's always this machine to tidy things up um, before you take the picture and throw it up onto Twitter or onto YouTube or someplace else. <laughs> Not as neat on this side, but it'll do the job. As a man around here said one time years ago, it'll never store. I couldn't hold the camera and tie the knots at the same time. You'd want three hands at the best of times tying them wire knots. But I found a load of good videos on YouTube and I'll, I'll try and put some of the links into the description below for, for how to, to really do it. Um, I think there was a couple of guys from Chagask and a couple of guys from New Zealand that I copied and they're very good. I made a spinning jenny, but sure I forgot it is above in the shade. That's the right place for it. So, a bit of untangling to do here. It's not too bad, I, I think I have the right end of it started up there at the egg. No matter how careful you are, I find you always get these little war wounds as well, but yeah, are there only scratches? You can see it's up now, and I've driven in the staples and the insulators at all the stakes. I think the seven of them took me three attempts to count the seven, so I was sure we had enough insulators the whole way up along then. And it's just a matter of tightening it now. And this is the master machine to tighten it. Just give it a little check on the way up there now, make sure it's not cotton anything or there's nothing silly kind of happening. So there's no harm to double check it now rather than having to bust something or fix something in another two minutes time. Right, I've checked it now. There was nothing, no snags, no getting caught any place, and I went back and tightened it, finished it off with the haze strainer, tied it off, not as neat maybe as the first one, and there's a bit of give in it, but I'm happy enough with that. One of the videos I was watching 
about how to tie off wire and all that kind of thing when you're fencing was from a guy, I think it was in Australia or New Zealand. And his thinking was that never to kind of tighten it too tightly, where you could walk on it like a tightrope. Because then, if an animal goes through it, they'll, they'll do a lot more damage. Whereas, if you have it with a little, little bit of give, and an animal goes through it, it's less likely to cause damage. So, it's really the, the current going through it that holds it back, rather than how tight it is. So, I'm happy enough with that. It's not the neatest, but tight enough feet. <laughs> I'm happy enough with that. We're slowly, for now now. We're slowly getting there now, all right. Safe with the progress made today, in fairness. And we've upgraded the sound system. We've gone from Team Lizzie on a CD to um, Spotify. I couldn't think of the name in there. So we have Spotify here, connected to the Bluetooth. And then we're charging it here as well. So we're coming into the 21st century strong. So. We load up, we go feed calves. We even got a bit of timber for our trouble. So there's some of next year's fire. It's time to head for the hills or more to the point, time to go feed the calves, head home for a bit of dinner. But I'm happy enough with the progress made in the last couple of days of a couple of hours here and a couple of hours there. I don't ever remember the far off knock being fenced from, from when I was a child. I've seen stakes an old wire there, but this is probably the first time it's been fenced like this, 40 years. And again, as with that pier above with 84 written on it, I, I'm, I'm kind of assuming it could be another 30 years before somebody is putting up new stakes and new wire out here. Um, and I guess I'll be, I'll be long since gone. I might still be living in the Mediterranean at that stage, or, or I might be dead and gone. Fellas will be saying, Jesus, what? All them stakes are crooked. What was he at the day he was putting them up? But I guess it's it's nice. It, it kind of reminds me why, why I like, one of the reasons I like farming as well. You can see the progress you're making. Small things, like we'll turn this paddock, this kind of what was, what passes for commonage around here, no fencing, into a couple of proper paddocks now. We graze it right. We grow more grass because the cattle will graze it down now, whereas they weren't doing it before and the sheep weren't doing it before that. And we'll make a bit of progress. Um, but again, back to more practical matters before we get lost in that kind of a carry on. We haven't fixed the water yet. I have a truck out. I'll probably need a new ball cock. We need to tie off the sheep wire so that that concrete truck will replace the plastic one and there'll be a side of it on either side of this sheep wire that runs down the middle of the far off knock. But sure, the sheep quickly discovered they could just go into the forestry and come out the other side. So kind of defeated the purpose of that. So that's the crack. New fields, new paddocks and all that kind of carry on. Thanks a million for watching. We'll talk to you soon. I hope you're enjoying the sun wherever you are. Good luck.